Hello, almost second graders. Today is day two of practicing subtracting with regrouping. All right, so day two, this means that we're not going to be using our unifix cubes. You need this worksheet. We have our cute little polar bear on top, and you're gonna follow along with me. I will do the first eight with you. And then I would like you to try to do the remainder on your own. But if you need help, you can always go to mom, right? Mom or dad. Okay. Number one. Find number one for me. The equation says 63 minus 47. Okay. Do we remember the steps? First... We go to the ones place, that's right. Then we look to see what numbers we have. So we have three ones and we need to take seven away. Is that possible? No, because there's more on the floor. Anytime we have more on the floor, we need to go somewhere. Where do we go? Next door. And what do we get? 10 more, nice. So if I take one of these tens away, how many tens do I have left? Five, nice. Okay, so I take one of these tens, so now I, now I have 10. I break it apart and I have 10 ones. 10 ones plus three ones, 10 plus three equals 13, good. So now I have 13 ones. So I've changed six, six tens and three ones into five tens and 13 ones. This is the same as this. It has the same value. Do I have enough ones to subtract seven now? I do, I do. Okay, so since we don't have our cubes, let's practice all those different tricks that uh, we practiced last time. Let's hop onto a number line. Okay, so we're gonna hop on seven. Big hop to seven, and let's see how many hops it takes to get all the way to 13. So let's hop on to eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. How many hops did it take to get from seven to 13? Six, good job. Okay, so our ones are taken care of. Now we need to go over to the tens place. I have five tens minus four tens. How many tens do I have left? One, good job. So my answer is 16. Let's hop on over to number two. Okay, so let's take a look. 56 minus 25. We'll start in the ones place. What do you notice? What do you notice? Top number is bigger, isn't it? Yeah, more on top? No need to stop. We don't need to stop and borrow anything. So if I have six ones, I can take five away. And how many do I have left? One, good. Now let's go over to the tens place. I have five tens. And if I take two of them away, how many tens do I have? Do I have a friend here? Nope, oh, there he is. This is Jack, everybody. <laughs> All right, so five tens minus two equals three. Good job. Oh, Jack really loves math. He's hungry for it. Silly, silly. Okay, number three, Mr. Jack. <laughs> We have 72 minus 17. Okay, do we have enough ones to take seven away? We do not, we have more on the floor, don't we? When we have more on the floor, we go next door and get 10 more, good job. So if we take one of those tens away, how many tens do we have left? Six, good. If I add that 110 
to the two ones that I have, 10 plus two more equals 12. So now I have 12 ones. Okay, if I have 12 ones, can I take seven away? Yes, I can, absolutely. So let us, you know what? Let's practice hopping from seven up to 12. Okay, so let's stand on seven, get ready to hop. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. How many hops did it take us to get from seven to 12? Five, well done. So remember we can check here if I add these two numbers together and if my answer is this top number, that means I subtracted correctly. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. I subtracted correctly. So let's go on to the tens place. Six minus one equals, what do you think, Jack? Five, you are correct. Silly Jack. Okay, number four, can you see number four? We have 70 minus 19. Okay, do we have enough ones to take nine away? No, I don't, I have more on the floor. Nine is more than zero. So I need to go next door and get 10 more, don't I? So if I take one of these tens away, how many tens do I have left? Six. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh, so here's a tricky one. I don't have any ones. So if I bring one of these tens over here and I break it apart, how many ones do I have now? How many ones do I have? I can't trick you guys. 10, you're right. 10 plus zero is 10. Okay, I think you're in the way now, Jack. So now, do I have enough ones to take nine away? I do. 10 minus nine, they're right next to each other on a number line. So that means one is left over. 10 minus nine equals one. Let's go over to the tens place. We have six minus one. So what's the answer with when you have six, take away one. Good job, five. All right, let's go on to the next page. Four more problems that we're going to do together and then we'll see if you can handle the rest on your own. I believe in you, almost second graders. Number five says 33 minus 28. Let's look at our ones place. Do we have more on top? Do we have enough to take eight away? We don't, there's more on the floor. When we have more on the floor, we go next door and get 10 more. If we take one of those tens away, how many tens do we have left? Two, perfect. Three minus one equals two. So if I bring that 10 over here, if I bring my 10 over to the ones place, that would make 10 plus three more. I already have three ones. So 10 ones plus three more ones equals 13 ones, perfect. So I no longer have three ones, I have 13 ones now. So I have enough ones to take my eight away. Let's get ready to jump onto that number line again. Okay, so we're standing on eight. 
and we need to hop all the way to 13. Okay, so our first hop, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. How many hops? Five. All right, let's check. Let's check and make see, make sure. All right, so eight plus five more. If I get 13, that means I subtracted correctly. So let's count from eight and five more. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Good, we subtracted correctly. Let's look at our tens now. We have two tens and we're going to take two tens away. How many tens do I have left? Zero. Do I need to write zero here? We talked about that in our last lesson. I don't, no, because this is how I write the number five. I don't need to write zero five when I write the number five. So nothing needs to be put here because I don't have anything left. I have no tens. Okay, number six. 66 minus 27. Let's look at our ones place. Do we have enough ones to take seven away? Do we have enough ones? We do not, it's close, but we still don't have enough. So more on the floor, go next door and get 10 more. Let's take one of these tens. If I take one away from six, how many tens do I have left? Five. Nice. Okay, so I took a 10 away. I need to add it to the ones that I already have. 10 plus six is 16. You're able to do that so quickly. Don't we love tens? Okay, Whoop. I don't have six ones anymore. I have 16. I certainly have enough ones now to take seven away. I sure do. All right, so let's hop on to seven. I'm gonna need both my hands to hop all the way up to 16, okay? Do I count seven as a hop? No, because I'm already standing on it, perfect. Okay, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That was a lot of hops. So how many hops was that? Nine, good. Okay, so let's check and see, because this was a, a lot of hops. Let's add these two numbers together to make sure that 16 is our answer. All right, so I have nine in my head. I'm going to count on seven more. Okay, so nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Yep, absolutely. On to the tens place, five minus two. How many tens do we have left? Three. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Two more. Let's look at our ones place. 43 minus 16. Do we have enough ones to take six away? Do we have enough ones? We do not. There's more on the floor. Let's go next door and get 10 more. If I take one of my tens away, how many tens do I have left? Three, yes. Okay, so if I bring my 10 um, over here and turn it into 10 little ones and add it to my three ones, 10 plus three equals 13. Perfect. All right, so 13 minus six. Let's hop onto our number line. We're standing on the number six. Let's hop all the way to 13. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. How many hops? Seven, that's right. All right, in our tens place, we have three tens minus one ten equals two tens. 
So 27 is my answer. Last one, guys. Okay. Let's look at 77 minus 54. We'll start in the ones place. What do you notice about our ones? Which number is bigger? The top one. That's right. More on top. No need to stop. Let's keep going. 7 minus 4. Let's see if you know that math fact. 3. Good. 7 minus 5. Do you remember that math fact? Good. Okay, so I challenge you to keep going all the way to number 15. I give you that challenge. Also, I want to remind you that now that we're doing these types of equations and our subtraction facts, um, those fact families, they're getting bigger and bigger. I give you another challenge over the summer. Keep practicing your fact families and all of your math facts. So that way when you're doing all of these types of equations, you'll know the answer like that. And that makes it so much easier. So the more that you practice your math facts, the faster you become and it just stays in your brain forever. I promise you, it'll be there forever. So just like when you read more, you become a better reader. If you practice your math facts more and more often, um, you'll be become a great mathematician. Okay, so good luck finishing those problems. I'm sure you will do a great job, and I will see you on our next video. All right, bye.